All right, let's start this thing off. Let's take a look at the SPY. Okay, the SPY, SPY still in an uptrend on the daily chart. All right, we've been able to make it out of the top side of this channel and we're kind of, I'd like it to bull flag on top of this channel part right here and eventually build up some energy to make another higher channel. So right now, SPY, daily uptrend, still very strong. And let's take a look at the hourly. Hourly chart's looking good. Had a little pullback here, right to minor support, right there. See that pivot right that goes right up there? Got a pivot at 451.39. So we pulled down to 459, 451.39, and now we're now we're kind of melting up at this time. You can see in the pre-market we looked like we're challenging yesterday's highs <coughs> on the hourly chart. So we had probably a little 15-minute. Let's see. Let's look at the 15-minute chart. Yeah, we got. Uh, Lower low here, lower high. So we got a 15 minute downtrend. Let's see if it's a 30 minute downtrend. Yeah, lower high, lower low. So you got a 15 minute. See if it's an hourly. Uh, an hourly, not quite. It's just an hourly pullback. Okay, so we had a 30 minute downtrend, but it was an hourly pullback. And now we are in the midst of moving back up so now we've got a higher high on the 30 minute so now we've got a 30 minute uptrend happening with higher lows and higher highs <clears throat> excuse me my morning spy pivot is 453.85 how I got that I drill down to the 10 minute chart and I look at the common ground that they're telling me this price is important and I see them trading in and around this number. Look how many times they touch it. Right here, 453.85. So I can see where they trade up to and down to. Probably could go a little bit higher now that I'm looking at it. It could probably even go up to, let's just push it up a little bit. I'm examining it while I'm trying to move it. It could probably even go up to 454.30. Uh, come to think about it, now that we've made it back up here, 454. Yeah, about 454.30. The spy pivot could go to this morning. So there's the spy, still in a daily uptrend, weekly uptrend. It's bullish, all time frames. Everything's looking good for the SPY. Um, let's take a look at the QQQ. All right, let's look at the QQQ on the daily. All right, here's QQQ on the daily. We had a little daily pullback here. Still in an uptrend. Trendicator still green. And if we look at it on the hourly. And we scroll out, just an hourly pullback if we look at it on the 30. And with the 30, we can see we've got a lower high here and a lower low and a lower high and a lower low. So we have a 30 minute downtrend, but it's an hourly pullback in the daily uptrend. <clears throat> a couple of gaps that are open on the QQQ down below here. You can see one that begins at 375.44. And another one that begins at 370.33. So there's QQQ, still in a daily uptrend, still looking good. Market is still bullish at this time. Looking a little toppy, I gotta admit, but it's still bullish. Now let's take a look at the IWM. IWM, still very bullish. Daily chart, green turn indicator, everything's looking good. Looking like a bull flag might form up here over 194.29. Like to see it get back up into the 200s. I think it was back at the 200s at the beginning of the year. Yes. 
we were almost into the 200s at the beginning of the year in February. So let's take a look at IWM's looking good. Daily, daily uptrend. Everything's working out for IWM. Nothing bearish at this time. Now let's take a look at the diamonds. Diamonds still in a nice daily uptrend. Uh, bullish on all time frames. Uptrend on all time frames. Diamonds looking very strong here. Now let's take a look at FNGU. Okay, here's our problem child. All right, FNGU. We've got an uptrend. It's still in the daily uptrend. You can see the trend line here. Challenged the trend line yesterday. We got a nice little green candle with some tail at the bottom there. That's a good sign for the uptrend people. Kind of forming a little head and shoulders. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> We do have some of the big boys reporting, I think this morning or maybe this evening. We've got Google. We'll see. We'll take a look at that in a few minutes. But, okay, so here's our here's our daily pullback. All right, right to the uptrend line. Like to see them hold this uptrend line. And they could hold it, but underneath it, we'll see what happens. But let's take a look at the hourly. And on the hourly, you can see we just have an hourly pullback but if we look at it on the 30 minute uh, you can see a defined lower high here and a lower low so you get a 30 minute downtrend at this time on the FNGU need to break that downtrend um, trend indicators turning green in the pre-market doesn't mean anything till we put in a higher low and a higher high that would be a new 30 minute uptrend uh, right now, we don't even have a 10-minute uptrend uh, other than in the pre-market. So we'll see what happens with the FNGU. Now, remember, this is the one that kind of moves all markets except for the IWM. So we'll take a look at the FNGU later. Keep an eye on it anyways. Let's look a look at SMH. Now, this one moves the Qs quite well. And we'll look at this on the daily chart. Nice green trend indicator. Uh, kind of turning the trend indicator red here after the past couple of days. Still in the uptrend, but turning the trend indicator red. Notice uh, the last three trading days trend indicator is red, uh, but uh, still maintaining that uptrend. Notice the tails down here and the tails here. So SMH still looking very good at this time just a looks like we got a 15 minute downtrend inside of a daily uptrend and yeah there's your first uh, lower high right there after this big gap down well maybe right here and lower low lower lower high and uh, here we put in a higher low So there's SMH early this morning. Now let's take a look at the transport. And we'll look at the transports on the daily chart. They are really looking good on this daily chart. Things moving up nice. Nice daily uptrend. Breaking the downtrend line here. And transports look to be bullish on all time frames here with the uh, transports finishing near the highs up here so nice look for the transports good morning julie t ricardo yes i am recording so now we've got iyt now let's take a look at what do we want to look at next xlf all right here's our financials Financials looking really good. Daily uptrend. Monthly uptrend kind of beginning here. Hourly uptrend. Everything looking rocking good on XLF. This is good because these guys were lagging uh, back here for a while. And now the financials are now just coming back in the line. This is, this is really looking good here. 
we we could see a nice rally if the FNGU could get could stay in gear in forward gear. We could see another couple of months of rallying, maybe even longer than that. But we'll see what happens here. Here's XLF daily uptrend, hourly uptrend, everything looking good on XLF. Now let's take a peek at U.S. dollar. Okay, so here's the U.S. dollar. This is the U.S. dollar index. You can see we bounced. Well, we, we dropped all the way down to this uh, 99.60, 99.50 area. And we took a red rubber ball bounce back to 101.50. So there's the dollar with a huge bounce off of this fall. Right back to uh, actually to test minor resistance. This would be our minor resistance right here. So we're going to see if this is going to roll over and go further south. Or if FOMC is going to come in and save the day for the dollar. And jack it back up to 103. So we'll see what happens here with the dollar. Uh, cheaper dollar is going to cause a whole lot more inflation. But uh, I noticed it did bounce back to 101.50 area. And on the economic calendar... We get consumer confidence coming out at 10 o'clock. And tomorrow's the big day. 2 o'clock FOMC announcements. So we'll see what they want to do. If they're going to uh, continue with this rally going into the FOMC announcement. Or if they're going to fade it or not. We'll see what happens. Everything's still looking bullish. It doesn't look like they're taking their foot off the gas. It's almost like they have a, a, an unseen confidence that the market's going to move forward. Uh, they are definitely pushing the gas pedal to keep this going higher. But uh, that, that's a good thing for the market. But uh, eventually, you know, the FOMC is, is, is going to make some changes that are probably going to have a negative impact on the market. So... We'll have to wait and see what they decide at 2 p.m. Uh, for the month of July. All right. Until then, I'll see everybody uh, on my next video.